Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the class. Hello, Hello Miss. Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? So far, so good, Miss. Excellent, that's good, that's good. Well, I don't know why, but your classmates are not here today. Yeah. On the list. Hello, everyone. Okay, I sent a message. Give me a second. Ah, qué calor, mi calor. Yes, it's hot. It's really hot right now. I don't know, but it's it's really hot in here. All day long, all day long has been really hot. I thought it was only Usulutan. It's hot where you live? No? Is it yes. hot? Yeah, right. Yes. La Paz. It's really hot. Yes. My oh, God. Está feo. I remember last year, by this time, there was a lot of rain. Do you remember? Mm. Yeah, it was raining last year. It was raining cats and dogs. But now, it is not raining. No raining. And I really want the rain. Because it's really yeah. hot. I really want the rain. Well, anyways. So, uh, thank you very much for your punctuality. Thank you very much for being here. I know that we are busy and that we have a lot of things to do. But I really appreciate the time you make to be here in the class on time. So thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. Okay. Now uh, we're going to continue. And today we're going to be finishing the unit number one. So because of that, for that reason, we're going to be doing a review on the platform. Okay. So we're going to be doing the unit number one in the platform. So there's no excuse. It has to be ready by today. Because today, remember that every five classes, I have to send the grades report. Okay, so today I'm going to send the grades report for unit number one. Okay. Yes, got it? Yes, got it. Excellent. Thank you very much. I don't know why you guys, but sometimes I feel like <laughs> you're, you're, you're not listening. I feel alone. Eh? Don't make me feel alone. Say yes or say no, because sometimes I feel alone. Okay. Anyway, so I was saying before. Uh, we're going to be doing the review of unit number one today, and then uh, tomorrow we're going to be studying the unit number two, okay? Because, and remember, this module, as like the last one, we have uh, 25 classes, that means five weeks classes. So from now on, we're studying four more weeks, okay? Four more weeks. Okay, anyways, so let's go. I'm gonna go with the attendance because it's time. It's 8.05 already. I was waiting for some of you, but the wait is over. Let's see. Give me just a minute. Okay, here we are. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Ángela Guadalupe Hernández Sánchez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Denis Enrique Saldaña Claros. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present, Miss. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present, Miss. Gerson Alexis Funes Sosa. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present, Miss. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. María Julia Ramos Olívar. 
present, Miss. Maria, I saw your message. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Mónica Wendy Ávalos Girón. Present. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Ok. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. No. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, Miss. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, Miss. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Walter Vladimir Martínez Rosa. Omar Seth Galicia López. En Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Okay, I'm going to send a message because I, I have a few students today. That's weird. Hello. Lo extrañamos aquí. We miss you here. So, I send stickers. Ok. Para que se vea bonito. Que le llame la atención. I send you a sticker. A cat sticker. Ok. Tal vez así con, con stickers le dan ganas de venir a la clase. Right. Ok. Excelente. So thank you very much, you guys, for being here. Thank you very much again, because I know some students are connecting to the class. I appreciate that. And I know that you're making an effort to be here at the class because we are busy, but we also want to learn English. And that's the important thing, okay? So these past classes, we have been learning a grammar topic. Do you remember what is the grammar topic we have been practicing? Production line. Production line, that's the vocabulary topic. And the grammar topic? Grammar? And the present perfect. Present perfect, correct. Remember, every class we are, thank you, Oscar, and thank you, Eric. Every class we are learning uh, different vocabulary topics and different grammar topics. The vocabulary topics are there to improve um, your vocabulary skills. And the grammar topics are there to help you uh, with your with your grammar, like the structure, the structure of the English language. Okay, so today we're going to continue and we're going to do like a review of all the topics we have studied this uh, this unit number one, and because we're going to be finishing unit number one. Okay, if you have any questions about the grammar, if you have any questions about uh, vocabulary, you can ask me. My God, it's really hot in here. Ah. Hot. Okay. And wait a minute. I'm going to drink a little bit of really cold water. Is it hot where you live? Yeah, right. It's really hot. Oh my God. Sandra, is it hot in El Pericón? Is hot? My God. Yes, it's hot. I can see yes, the fan the, behind yes, you. Yes, yes. I am sorry on the fan. Yes, you <laughs> God, it's yes, really, yeah, it's hell, it's hell, yeah, yeah, behave. <laughs> bien. Imagine if this is like this here in the earth, allá abajo va a estar bien caliente esos peroles, right? Difícil. Be good, be good, portense bien, be good, sean buenos, <laughs> yeah, right, be good, because I, I can't handle it, it's really hot in here, okay, anyways, so hopefully it will rain, I'm waiting for the rain. 
maybe, probably, who knows? But last year was very different. Okay, anyways, as I was saying before, uh, we're gonna continue today with the manual and the topics we have for today. Remember that uh, we are gonna do a review today of the unit number one. So I hope that you have been working on the platform so you know the answers already. And then we're gonna practice those answers there in the, wait a minute. Okay. We're gonna be practicing the, 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 the exercises on the platform, okay? So I don't know, I'm gonna do it that around nine. Remind me, okay? Because sometimes I forget. So tell me, Miss, we have to do the platform, okay? So I can go with the platform because sometimes I forget. Okay, anyways, so this is the conversation, the thing we had to do in the last class yesterday. So we were talking about SWOT analysis. Do you remember what is a SWOT analysis? What is it? Uh, the meaning, those are um, witnesses, strengths, opportunities, and trends. Okay. Threats, threats. Uh, threats. Yeah, like amenazas, right? So yes, thank you very much, Eric. Good job. So that will be the equivalent in Spanish as a FODA, right? And we all have done a FODA in maybe in your work, maybe when you were studying, we have all done a FODA, okay? So and this is the conversation we have here, and it's about SWOT analysis. Remember, it's strengths, um, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So I'm going to read this conversation for you. <clears throat> you know, always the first time I read slow for pronunciation and after that i'm gonna read it with intonation which is the most important part let's go well let's get started after conducting a SWOT analysis we will know whether to go on to go on that's together to go on or stop with this project Right, <clears throat> Let this, let's describe the strengths that, that means the advantages we have over our competitors, competitors. We offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporations are competitively, competitively, competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a weakness might be the lack of parking space for our customers. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could, could, not could, right? It's could, that could affect the company. Okay, so this is a long conversation. So I'm gonna read it one more time for intonation. Okay, then you can ask me. Let's read it one more time. Let's go. Well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or 
stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strengths. That means the advantages we have over our competitors. We offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we allow them, allow, allow, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills speaking. since Same. the first class. First, remember, first. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas, no areas, areas, are areas in which the corporations are competitively, competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a weakness might be the lack of parking space for our customers. You're right, Mario. I mean, you're right again, again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities, the opportunities, remember, Powell, the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company, okay? Do you need me to repeat a pronunciation or tell you the meaning of a word? Yes, miss. Uh, witness, what do you mean? Weaknesses, okay? Witnesses. Weaknesses. Okay, that means, uh, how can I say this in English? Weaknesses is something that you are not good with. A disadvantage. Do you know what is a disadvantage? Desventaja. Correct. So in the FODA, what do you think that will be? Debilidades. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Uh, I think Oscar had a question. Uh, yes. It is a... Uh... Correct pronunciation, con conducting. Conducting? Conducting. 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 Yeah. Strength. 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 Yeah. Strength. Okay. Thank you, Miss. What else? What do you mean? Advantage. Advantage is the opposite of disadvantage. So in the FODA will be the F in the FODA. Okay. What is the F in the FODA? Um, Fortalezas. Fortalezas. Fortalezas y debilidades. Fortale so advantage Only. is the F, right? Correct. Another one? Yes, miss. The word after discussing. Discussing. Or discussing. After discussing. discussing. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. What else? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, oh no, the con conducting mm -hmm. trends. Trends. Allow them. Co what? Allow, allow them. them. Allow them. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Allow them things. Dis discussing, discussing. 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 Witnesses. 
weaknesses? Areas. Areas. Competitively. 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 Yes, that's correct. Weakness. Weakness. And the opportunity. The opportunities. Good job, Oscar. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Another one. Okay. So if you don't have any more questions, I'm going to go with intonation. Let's listen. Well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strengths. That means the advantages we have over our competitors. Mm, we offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. Mm, what are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporations are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a weakness might be the lack of parking space for our customers. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. Okay? I'm gonna send you an audio to the WhatsApp group. Oh, I saw a message from Rafael Castillo. Miss, excuse me, but I am not in the WhatsApp group. Don't worry about it. We can fix that immediately. Wait a minute. What's up, what's up, what's up? Okay. Okay, Angela, I sent you the link. Okay, thank you, Miss. Angela, sometimes when I want to send you say your name, I say Angela in my head. Uh, could I could I say it or do you prefer Angela? Whatever is that much. I, for me, I prefer Angela or Angie. <laughs> Angie. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Angie. That will be better for me to remind to, to remember. It's because I watch a series where there's a lady called Angela, and every time they call her they say Angela so when I see your name immediately I think Angela <laughs> okay no problem okay so Angela I send you the uh the link here okay if you click on the link you're gonna join the group okay I'm gonna send you the audio right now well let's get started after conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strengths. That means the advantages we have over our competitors. We offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. Mm, what are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporations are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a weakness might be the lack of parking space for our customers. You are right again, Mario. 
before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. Okay, you got the audio? Yes? And we're gonna go and practice. Do you understand the activity we're doing in this moment? Perfect. Yes, of course, yeah. Miss. Okay, it's not complicated at all. It's actually very easy and we need to practice, okay? I see that we have a lot of participants here. So please just go to the breaker rooms and try to do the best you can. Let's go. Let's join the breaker rooms, please. Let's join the breaker rooms. In our case, our weakness might be the lack of parking space or our customer. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. Okay, hey, you are Mr. Riva now. Threats, okay. Uh, yes, uh, this one, it's threats. 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 Okay, yes. Thank you, Miss. Okay, you are Mr. Rivas now. Yeah, first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our threats, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are, are areas in which the corporation and competitively disadvantaged in our case, our weakness may be the lack of baking space for our customers. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats of strangers outside that could affect the 
company. Bye. Can see it. Me. Next. Todo suyo a la pizarra, vamos. Okay. Que le quite el calor. De Hola, ¿se me escucha? Sí. Sí, sí, te escucho. Okay, por ti. Okay. You start, my friend. In which the corporations are comparatively disadvantaged. In our case, a weakness might be the lack of parking space for our customers. All right. Okay. But before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunity and the strength or danger outside that comes after company. Uh, what do you say? After? Dangerous of side effect. 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 Yeah. Oh, okay. Effect the company. Outside the code. Set, set.
Hello, Rafael, what happened? Hi, Miss. Uh, my internet is so bad. And you were in a breaker room? Yes, uh, I want, uh, I stay with the uh, Oscar. Oscar, 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 number two, okay. Sandra, you are oyente or you are in the class? Estoy de oyente, mis voy manejando. Okay. Y hay una parte que no hay señal. Okay, it's okay.
Hello, welcome oh. back. Hi. Hi, me. Hi. How are you? <laughs> okay. Good evening, Miss. We are ready. We are ready. Okay. So let's go. Um, let's see. Well, let's go. So we have Mr. Rivas, Mario, Jose. So we have three people in this conversation, right? Yes. Oh, Ana Veronica, you're gonna be Mr. Rivas. Uh, Oscar René, you're gonna be Mario. And let's see. Silvia, you're gonna be Jose. Okay. Excuse me, Miss. Me habló. No, no, no. <laughs> Jose here in the conversation. Ah, uh, yeah. Mr. Rivas is going to be Ana. Uh, Mario is going to be Oscar. And Silvia is going to be Jose in the conversation. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. Uh, well, let's get started after conducting a SWOT analysis. We will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strength. That means the advantage, advantage we have over our competitors. We offer flexible. Okay. <laughs> huh? Sorry. Sorry. Flexible schedule to adapt to our customer busy agendas. Besides, we are open the practice. Their, their public speaking still seems the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are witness, witnesses about? Witnesses are areas in which the corporations are competitively disadvantaged in our case. Uh, witness means the be, be the lack of parking space for our customers. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. Excelente. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. That was really good job. Just remember, <laughs> we have three people in the conversation, okay? Okay, <laughs> perfect. Thank you very much. Now we're gonna go with another, um, no, with other three people. Let's go, Ramiro, you're gonna be Mr. Rivas, okay. Eh, Oseas, you're gonna be Mario. And Jose is gonna be Jose. Oh. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> okay. okay, perfect. Okay. Let's go. Uh, well, let's get started. After conducting a snow analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strengths. That means the advantages we have over our competitors. We offer flexible schedule to adapt to our customer busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, let's con uh, continue with our weaknesses. 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 What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporations are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a weakness might be the lack of parking space for our customers. You are right again, Mario. Before ma uh, making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities that threat our dangers outside that could affect the company. Okay, um, just this word affect. Okay, affect. Could okay. affect. Could and affect. then uh, weaknesses. 
weaknesses. And this one, it's pretty similar the pronunciation to another word because strange means extraño. But in this case, it's strength, okay? Like this, strengths, okay? Strength. Strength. Yeah, strengths. 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 Okay, it's excellent. Thank you. Yeah, correct. Good job. Okay, thank you very much. You. Let's give them an applause. Good job. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, now let's continue here. So in this part, we have to uh, pair or to write the correct word with the correct meaning, okay? So um, take a screenshot of this and you're going to identify what is a strength, what is a weaknesses, what are opportunities, and what are threats, okay? Take a screenshot and we're going to read, analyze, and write it in the correct form. When you finish with that, you can practice pronunciation. Do you understand the activity we're doing in this moment? Yes, Miss, we understand. Oh, okay. yes, yes, Miss, we understand. We understand. Ah, thank yes. you. Sometimes I yes. feel alone. Yes. Uh -huh. You uh -huh. say only make my head up, down, up, down. Okay, okay. Yeah, move the head, move the head <laughs> up and down. Okay, let's go. Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Monica, did you get the invite? Por please. No, no le cayó. Eh, sí, pero no sé cómo la quité. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so we're gonna do. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. So you were in break of home too. I'm going to break your own. Ok, le voy a mandar a las dos, a la uno, perdón, pero no se vaya a unir ahí porque esa no es su sala, ok? No se una ahí, okay. no, se una, no se una. Cuando le caiga la de la dos, le da aceptar. Ok. Let's go.
Hello, welcome back. Hello, Miris. Hello. Hey, excuse me, I with my classmate for uh, my uh, error, uh, put the return on the main room. Excuse me. It's okay, Ramiro, don't worry. Okay, so let's see. Uh, you have the answers now, so let's go and see and share them. Mm. Yes. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Angela, can you tell me what it's number one? Mm, okay, number one is, uh, number one says, the first one, provide an analysis of the company's adventures over competitors, it would be strength. Okay, can you repeat this word? Strength, number one, provide an analysis. Oh, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so can you repeat only only that word? Yeah, correct. Adven advantages? I don't know if yes, yes, yes. The first advantages. time you say it incorrect, but now you say it correct. Okay, perfect. That's good. advantages. Yes, okay, that is advantages. correct. Thank you. Okay, uh, it's a strength. I the answer the answer of number one is strength. Yes, correct. That is good. Angela, can you choose the next participant? Ramiro. Okay, number two, consider areas uh, areas in which the companies are at the competitive disadvantage is um opportunities. Okay. Okay. Opportunities will be considered areas in which companies are competitive disadvantage. Hmm. Do you think that is opportunities? Weakness. That is weaknesses. Yes, weaknesses. Ah, okay. excuse me, weakness. Yes. Yes. Okay, Ramiro, choose the next participant, please. Um, Eric Reyes. Yes, and the third is our list on spread market or business developments, and that is. Um, threats. Oh my goodness, Mayra. Oh. <laughs> no, I think so. <laughs> opportunities, I would be. Yeah, it's no, um, no, no, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, is that is opportunity. <laughs> oh my god, Ari and Ramiro yesterday in the night, a oh. lot of water. Oh my God. Oh, I didn't remember that. Now I remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> Mayra, I'm sorry. So I'm sorry. I drank crazy water. A lot oh of beers. <laughs> no, 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 no. A That's lot of not... beers for my friends. A lot of shots. Chot, chot, <laughs> chot, chot. Okay, let's go. Um, so, okay, Mayra, help me with number four. Okay, miss. Strengths. Um, explore the external environment that could affect the company, including technological, environmental, and regulatory factors. That is a strength. Are you sure? No. What do you say? Tracks, tracks is that first worst. <laughs> okay, and Mayra, no. Mayra. No. <laughs> you oh. too, Mayra. <laughs> oh, it's a, uh... okay, close my mom. <laughs> close my mom or close my yes. mouth? Mouth. Yes, mouth. <laughs> Porque si no su mamá anda cerrando. <laughs> oh my god you guys that's so funny okay okay it's, it's okay thank you Mayra thank you right okay okay um so I am gonna say thank you to Osea, Ana Veronica and Oscar because they have the cameras on okay and you know that is a compromise we have here in the class and I'm looking at a lot of students with the cameras off means I can't hear you can you hear me now? Miss, I can hear you. 
You cannot hear me either. A little bit. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Better. It's better. It's better. No, less. Excuse me. Is it better now? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know. I think I might need to buy a new headset. I don't know. Because if you can see, look at this. It's tremendado. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know, something happened. Y los acabo de terminar de pagar. <laughs> and I need to buy a new one. Okay, anyways, thank you very much. So I was saying that I appreciate the students with the cameras on because you know that is something we need, right? Yeah. Something we are compromised to do because uh, it is very important. Correct, oh, correct, correct. We need to have the cameras on, okay? And I know that some students could hear me because they were turning on the cameras. So thank you very much for that because you know that's something we need to do. We got to do, okay? So now I see more students with the cameras on and I appreciate it because you know that's very important. And I haven't seen some students. No he visto algunos estudiantes yet. So you need to turn on those cameras. For example, I don't know. De vez en cuando, hágale así, así y así. Mira, solo se pone una camisita. Y aquí para abajo nadie le va a pedir que enseñe. Okay? Nobody. Yeah. But means ah, I'm, ah, ah. I'm shy. Excuse me. Por ejemplo, a Ángela no la conocemos. Con tal no, no se levanten. ¿Cómo dice Johnny? Con tal no se levanten. Con tal no se levanten. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I am I'm really shy. Excuse me. <laughs> Angela, but it's, it's a requirement. It's a requirement of the beca. Yes. Así que conozcamos a Angela, por favor. Angela. Ay, no, Angela se llamaba. Angela se llamaba. Ajá. Cuando le decían, dice mi abuela. Sí, yo voto por eso. Mayra. Oh, my God, Mayra. Mayra, sometimes we see Mayra. Rafael. Rafael, we see him. Angela, excellent. Good job. Ah, hey. está. Hey. That's good. That's good. That's okay, good. thank you. Okay. So we need vaya, entonces, que, vaya, no, no la vayas a pagar hoy. Así Rafael, que ahí, Rafael, we see him. What? Hey. Angela, my God. Rafael, we see him. Y a Rafael lo vemos una vez allá, ¿verdad? Como en los cometas. Uh. Hay que pedirle un deseo a Rafael cuando lo veamos. <risa> ¡Oh, my God, Rafael! ¡Rafael, qué diferente! ¡Oh, my goodness! ¿Y esas cirugías dónde las hacen? <risa> <risa> my... Son especiales, mis. ¡My God! ¡Miren, Rafael! ¡He looks very <risa> young! ¡Oh, my God! ¡He looks oh, very God. young! ¡My God! Se parece más a Miguel ¿no? No, pero... Wow. Look at Rafael. Wow, that is incredible. Rafael, excelente. Pone, pone la foto que tenés, es el antes y el después. Cabal, literally. It's before. Yes. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. Oh my God. He looks so así, young. Así lo conocimos nosotros. Yes. Oh my God, Rafael, es el mustache, el bigote. It's mm -hmm. gone. You look really young. Qué jovencito se ve. Wow. Okay. Soy and the look de artista este Rafa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks very nice. Very <laughs> nice, Rafael. Very handsome. Very handsome. Oh, my God. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. And then we have Mayra. We would like to see Mayra. <laughs> we would like to see Mayra. Yeah. Mayra, are you there? Mayra, are you there? The yeah. question is, yeah. Angela, are you there, <laughs> Angela? Because we only saw you like a few a few seconds, ni minutes, no seconds. Okay. okay. So, Mayra, Silvia, Patricia, también a Silvia le vamos a pedir un deseo cada vez que la veamos porque like oh my god, son como estrellas fugaces. Like, mi cámara, mis... What is it, Silvia? Mi cámara y mi compu no sirve. Oh si no de repente god. me desconecto. <laughs> Qué cámara y qué computadora que no quiere que nos Oh my God. Okay. So, also, who, who, see, Julio, 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 I have something. 
lo he visto, pero he visto Julio más foto con, su hijo, con su hijo. Esa foto con su hijo, ya, ya me puedo su hijo. Todo en la calle, like, yeah, Julio, yeah, or Julio's son, right, or something like that. Because, is, is that your son, Julio? Yo creo que sí es su, su hijo. I think he's your, he's the son. Yes. Yes, okay. Ajá, Julio, you're there. I got you. Now, turn on the camera. <laughs> Oh my God, you guys, it's complicated for you. I'm going to be like this. You're going to be talking. You're going to be talking to English corporative. All right. You're not going to see me. Ya no me van a ver a mí. <laughs> no me pagan. <laughs> I want to turn, I want to turn off my camera with a, but with a, with a picture behind me, like Jose Alfredo with Cobra Kai behind, behind him. Yeah. You should see Johnny. Johnny gets creative sometimes, and he sometimes is an avatar. So yes, I'm using my computer today. Is in my phone, my cell phone. You're on your cell phone. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we hope to see Angela. We hope to see Mayra. We hope to see Jennifer. We hope to see Julio. Silvia, if the computer lets her, si la computadora le da permiso. And then, yeah, Omar, I see him sometimes. I know that problem is the internet. Eric, also, I see him sometimes. Okay, but also, I want to see you. And Rafael, you're very handsome. No nos prive de esta guapura que andan derrochando el día de hoy. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, that's good. That's good. Johnny? Come, come, come. Bye. So... What is it? La van a regañar. Nah. Nah. Tiene nah. novia. <risa> oh, a él lo van a regañar. Yo pensé que decían que a mí. No, 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 no. No. ¿Verdad que no, Rafael? A usted nah. tampoco lo regañan. A mí tampoco. No, tampoco. Ay, no me dicen nada. De hombres mejor, más. Mejor que de hombres, no te regañen. De hombres más seguro del mismo que el hombre más seguro del mismo que he conocido en mi vida. Like, I swear to God. He doesn't care. Ok, let's see. Okay, so here, here we have. So if you could see in the conversation, okay, here, we have phrases like this, after, before, after, okay, all those words. So those words here, they are called reduce adverb clauses of time, okay? So how to use reduce adverb clauses of time. Clauses of times are to mark steps in progress, for example. So, adverb clauses uh, introduced by before, after, since, while. Do you know the meaning of while? No. Mientras. 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 Correct, correct. Antes, so, después, entre y en medio. Antes, después, sin, desde. desde. Correct. Desde. desde. Ah, ok. En while, ok. Why is, excuse me, mientras, I, I can hear mientras. Mientras. Tanto. O mientras, mientras tanto. Mean, while. Mean while, meanwhile is mientras tanto. But while is mientras, okay? Mientras, okay, thank you. Can be reduced to modifying adverb phrases. For example, the adverb clause. After we conduct a SWOT analysis, so this is the adverb phrase, okay? We will know, so we separate it with a comma, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. This is an adverb clause, okay? But an adverb phrase, let's look at the difference. If you can identify the differences. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. So those two sentences are the same. And actually they both are correct sentences. Can you look at the difference between these two sentences? Can you find the difference? Yes. What is the difference? Uh, the, the we disappear in the second oh, no. sentence. Uh -huh. and the also, pronouns. And so, and also? And uh, we can, uh, added to conduct ing at the end. Correct. Thank you, Eric. Good job. Okay, so yes. So this is what it is, okay? So it says, an adverb clause, and it's called an adverb clause because a clause is like a sentence, okay? It's a sentence. A sentence has subject, verb, and complement. 
And if you can look at it, we have subject, verb, and complement. That is what, what is called adverb clause. But this one, it is called an adverb phrase. Why? Because we don't have a subject, you see? Yeah? So after conducting a SWOT analysis, so in this case, you see, después de conducir, o después de llevar a cabo, aquí dice después de que nosotros llevemos a cabo. Right, so this ing is giving the action to that verb right there. So it's after conducting a SWOT analysis. The thing is, you guys, these sentences, they both are correct sentences, yes? But this one right here sounds more negative when speaking, okay? Yeah, Jose Alfredo, got it? Yes? ¿Cuál es la que suena más nativa, José Alfredo? ¿The first one or the second one? Uh, the second. The, 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 okay. Uy, second. Me ayudaron. They help you. They help you. Ok, got it. Good job. Good están job. Tomando, me están tomando fotos, Miss. Ok. okay. Good. Vos Está lloviendo ahí con para todo. que salgamos bonitos. Ah, sí, un rayo acá. Okay. That's why it's hot, maybe. Ok, thank you. Thank you, you guys. Yes. So the second one sounds a little bit more native. Like in Spanish. In Spanish, when we uh, use verbs and people, we don't usually say the subject, right? Because we say, vamos a la playa. Don't say, nosotros vamos a la playa, you know? So it's that reduction of the, ver the, the, of the subject, I mean. For example, when you see, you say, voy a ir a trabajar. Yo no voy a ir a trabajar o yo voy a ir a trabajar. It's, está de más ese yo, right? Because the verb te muestra a la persona. It shows which subject we are talking about. Okay, so that's very important for you to know. Let's continue here with the explanation. It says, to reduce an adverb clause. Okay, clause. The difference, clause, phrase, face, face, phrase. Voy a decir aquí phrase. Uh, to reduce an adverb clause to a phrase, do the following. So this is to help you do this. Eliminate the subject, right? Like Edit said. Eliminate the subject in the adverb clause. First, bam, gone. If the clause has a form of the verb be, eliminate it. Si va el verbo to be ahí, hay que eliminarlo, okay? Yeah, we are gonna eliminate it. And if the clause has any other verb different from be, si es cualquier otro verbo diferente del be, we're gonna add, ING. Okay? Got it? Yes, Miss, we got it. Yeah. Yes, of okay. course. Thank you, thank you, thank you, because I feel like you pay attention to me. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. So the reduction is only possible when the subjects of the adverb clause and the independent clause are the same. Okay? Esto solo funciona, lo voy a decir en español porque quiero que les quede claro como la horchata del parque. Okay? Yes, solo funciona si el sujeto de la siguiente cláusula, ¿sí? De la cláusula independiente es el mismo sujeto que de la cláusula anterior. Ven acá, we, we. Si aquí dijera, después de que yo lleve a cabo el SWOT análisis, vamos a saber si continuar con el proyecto, ¿no? Aquí no podría reducirlo con la other clause, ¿ok? Because ya no tendría sentido. Pero acá sí tiene sentido porque esta se vuelve una cláusula dependiente de la que continúa. Y como el sujeto es we, acá, aunque yo no tenga el sujeto, sé que estoy hablando de nosotros, que nosotros vamos a llevar a cabo el SWOT análisis. Lo dije en español, so... Is that clear? Yes? Perfect. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Let's go with the next one. Before making a decision, okay, no, with this one. Before we make, okay, we, we, so we can do the reduction, okay? Before making a decision, because we have the same verb. But this one, look at this one, in this one is not possible, because we have, before the new product, I mean, yeah, before the new product project, 
gets a green light, we, so it's not the same subject, right? Before, because the new product is the subject of the sentence. The new product is it, is a thing. And in this case, we have we, so we cannot do it. Before getting a green light, we will still need, no, the product, we, we don't get the green light, the product gets it. So in this case, it's not valid. It's not possible to do the reduction. Yes. Okay, yo siento que están viendo para abajo porque están escribiendo lo que les estoy diciendo, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Excuse me, Miss. Okay, Ramiro, Can ¿verdad? you repeat the last one? Expl explanation. Explanation. Please. Explanation, please. Yes, I can do that, Ramiro. Excellent. I'm going to do it in Spanish. Too. Voy a hacer en español, but just this time. Please, please, yes. Dice lo que les decía aquí arriba, que si la cláusula aquí, la cláusula, tiene el mismo sujeto que la cláusula eh, de, de, independiente, ¿verdad? Entonces sí puedo hacer esa reducción, quitar el sujeto y agregar ING. Pero en este caso, que es el ejemplo de acá, el nuevo producto o el nuevo proyecto del producto es el sujeto de esta oración. Ok, y en la otra, miren, es we, ya cambia, es nosotros. Entonces, no puedo hacer la reducción de, del sujeto con el ING porque tengo dos, ven, tengo dos sujetos diferentes. Entonces, no se puede llevar a cabo. Por eso tengo que poner atención, si la cláusula dependiente y la independiente tienen el mismo sujeto, procede la regla que acabamos de ver. Pero si tiene un sujeto y otro sujeto, no procede. You got it? Entonces no se puede cambiar y queda tal y como dice la 3A. Correct. Yes. Thank you, Miss. Solo en este caso que el sujeto sea diferente. Thank you. Ok, got it. Se escucha mismo uh -huh. diferente del inglés al español o lo mismo. Almost the same. Almost the same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Angela, go ahead. Angie. Uh, I, have, I have a doubt with this. Uh, it's necessary or I don't know how to say obligation. Obligation. Well, that's okay. Para hacer eso. No, to, no, no, no. Uh, to use before, after, and since while. For me, what is the, what is the, the similar or the, como es la, la, la relación? Yes. Okay. Para usar estas palabras. Ajá, okay. usar. Puede usarlo de cualquier forma. You can use it either way. Okay. Y es correcto. Either way. No es una obligación. It's not an obligation. It's not. But. With the eh, adverse. Uh -huh. With the adverse clauses. That's okay. With this. No problem. With the adverse. Clauses. Esto no termina. No, no importa si lo hace así. Lo, lo hace así. It doesn't matter. Pero suena más nativo. Y suena más. Eh normal decirlo de esta manera por eso les hacía el ejemplo de decir nosotros vamos a la playa en lugar de decir vamos a la playa ok so, esa reducción del sujeto suena más nativa ok ok got it. ok let's go so in this case ok we're gonna look here it says read the statements below reduce the adverb clauses to adverb phrases when possible. So what are we going to do? We're going to do the analysis. Pay attention, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's identify, okay, the subject and the subject. So we have two sentences. Pay attention to it. We have a dependent clause and we have an independent clause. Right? So let's look at it. Primero veamos. What is the independent clause? After the product. Aha, uh -huh, the product. What is the independent? La independiente. ¿Cuál podría ser la independiente? After the product or it is essential? It is essential. It is essential, correct. That is the one. La que tiene el adverbio de frecuencia o la que tiene el adverbio de tiempo, ok, esa es la que es dependiente. No tiene sentido sin la otra, ok. Recuerden que una cláusula independiente es aquella que por sí sola tiene sentido. Y una cláusula dependiente es la que por sí sola no tiene sentido. Porque aquí si yo digo, después de que el desarrollo del... 
Ok, después de que el equipo de desarrollo del producto termine de hacer la lluvia de ideas, tiene sentido si solo les digo eso. Doesn't make sense. Not right. So, esta es una cláusula dependiente. Necesita la siguiente oración ah. para tener sentido. Right? Entonces, una cláusula independiente es la que por sí sola sí se entiende. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, es esencial descartar las ideas que no sean uh, como, eh, que no encajen. Ok, so, entonces, esta sí tiene sentido si la digo sola, pero esta anterior no. Por eso, cláusula, dependi I mean, cláusula dependiente, cláusula independiente. Entonces, en este caso ya sabemos que la independiente es this one, right? So, we're going to pay attention to this one, right? Es esencial. So, el equipo de desarrollo de producto y es esencial, ¿serían el mismo sujeto? What, ki what kind is a is adverb? The subject? Is the same subject? No, just look at it. So, les voy a marcar el subject. I'm going to mark the subject. Okay. This one and this one. Do you think they are the same subject? No. No. Okay. So in this no. case, the reduction Compliment. is not possible, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Now let's go to the next one. I'm going to help you with one and two. Three, four, five, and six is for you. Okay, let's identify here. The independent clause. What is the independent clause in this one? Before or he had? He had. Present. Had. Okay, he had. That is the independent clause. Okay. And the subject in this case is he. And uh, the, the first, manager uh, is the subject here. What is it? The first, the first sentence is an adverb phrase or adverb clause? It's an adverb phrase. Ah, okay. No, it's an adverb clause. I mean, it's an adverb clause. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so before the manager listed the weaknesses of the company on a slide, he had presented the new products to help the company increase sales. So, do you think the manager and he are the same subject? Dependent sentence. No, but do you yeah. think they are yeah, the same? Yeah, yeah, it's the same. The, the same. Same subject, same subject. So same. In this yeah. case, the reduction is possible, right? The reduction yes. is possible. Yes. So I possible. can change the first sentence, okay? I can change the first sentence and get it to this. Before, so the first thing, we're going to eliminate the subject, okay? Yes, vamos a eliminar el subject. So, el subject sería so be, the manager. Before listing. Mm, the so manager. Before, before listing, listing, before listing the, the weaknesses. weaknesses. Weaknesses, I think it's like that. Yeah, weaknesses. Of the company on a slide. He blah, 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 okay, okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so in this case, I can change that, okay? You know, you got it? In this case, we can change that sentence, okay? So you're gonna do, I help you with one and two, you're gonna do three, four, five, and six. Do you understand the activity we're doing? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, it's not difficult. You can take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group if you can, please, okay? It is not difficult, not at all. It's pretty easy, actually. Okay. Let's go.
Oscar, Jennifer, let's go to the breaker rooms. Okay.
Get transformed, the witness yeah. of a company can transform it. Is a delete ED. Delete ED. Elimine el ED de transform it. Hola. Okay. ING. ING. Transforming. The witness of a company can transform it into. Opportunities. opportunities. Space the transforming space opportunities. Uh -huh. mm, okay, uh, okay. I have a doubt because you can you can add ing to bear after the connecting. Uh, maybe after. Before and while. Miss? Yeah, tell me. Tell me, please. <laughs> okay, what is the question you have? I'm Andrew Kittes, messing, mess. Messing well, it was a video conference about the I'm just gonna give you, I'm just gonna give you a key. Remember, in the rules, there was something about the verb to be. Let's check. Okay, it was. Okay. Let's see the verb to be. Okay, let's see the number four. After failing to produce positive okay. in the school, yes, what is it? Okay. Any promising product ideas are reviewed out after promising after five failing after failing to produce. Yeah, okay. Number five, no. Okay. And number six, before you present a new idea to the manager. Before presenting a new idea to the manager. Yes, yes. correct. Correct. Just check the number three, okay? Just check the okay. number three because the number three is possible, but not with ING. No with ING. Es una regla especial. Look at it. Búsquela. Okay. Andrew kept texting messaging while in a video conference. Okay, let's do something. Wait a minute. In this case, the only thing we're gonna do is to eliminate this. Okay, and it's gonna be like that. Andrew kept text, text messaging while in a video conference. That is correct, that is correct. Now continue with number four, four five, and six. Oh, en esas no es posible, lo que ustedes dicen. Number four, we were thinking many promises. Number number four, it's not covered the the short the the, the um, sentence. No es posible recortarlas un poco. Solo en el nombre en el número cuatro. Number four. But after you see they and many promising product ideas, they are the same subject. Many promising, porque entonces a quién se refiere con they? Si no es a las, a las ideas. Ellos, no. Pero es a las ellos, ideas. Exactly, ¿no? ellos. Dice muchas ellos. promesas de ellos. ideas. Ajá, han sido. Muchas promesas, muchas promesas. Muchas pro, muchas Muchas, ideas de productos prometedoras. Ideas de productos prometedoras han sido descartadas después de que han fallado en uh -huh. producir un resultado positivo. Entonces, ¿quiénes son? ¿De quién estamos hablando con Day? De las ideas. Delete Day and Failing. Yeah, correct. Excellent. Bye.
Hello. So let's see the answers for this. I know it was a little bit complicated maybe, but it's not that complicated. So in, let's see, veamos primero en cuáles no es posible. So number one is not possible. Number two, it's possible or not? Yeah. And number yes, three, now, awesome. you're, now your turn. Number three, it's possible or not? Yes. Yes, it's possible. Ya vamos a checar cómo. Number four, possible or not? Possible. 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 Number five, possible or not? Mm. Possible does not apply. Not apply. No, it's not possible. And number six, is this possible or not? Possible. 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 Okay. Now let's do how it corresponds. Before the manager listed, so in this case, we're going to delete the manager listed and we're going to add listing, right? Okay. The next one, wait a minute, I'm going to do it with white. Andrew kept messaging, well, he, so what we're going to delete here is this one. Okay, so Andrew kept text messaging well in a video conference, okay? Many promising product ideas are ruled out after they fail. So what is the modify here? What do we do? And add ing to failing. And delete the subject, right? Of okay. course. And failing. add failing. Oh, wait a minute. Fail. Okay. Be. Number five doesn't apply. Number six, before you present a new idea to the manager, you need you and you. So what do we do here? Before? Delete uh, you. Delete you. And add ing present. To present. 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 Presenting. Present. Like that. Okay, yes, you have a like that, right? Okay, excellent. If you have a like that, that is correct. Okay, good job. Now let's go with the last attendance. Oh my God, I didn't do the review. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, the last attendance. Give me a second. What is my group, my group, my group? Yeah, no. okay, here we are. Okay, let's go. I'm just gonna go. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Okay, Angela Guadalupe Hernandez Sanchez. Yes. Present. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Denis Present. Enrique Saldaña Claros. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present, Miss. Eric José Reyes Molina. Present, Miss. Nelson Alexis Funes Sosa. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present, Miss. Johnny Alexander Escobar. <laughs> José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. I am here, teacher, miss. Okay. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present, miss. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Here, miss. Okay. Rafael Antonio Martinez Navarrete. Present, miss. The camera, the camera, Ra Rafael. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, miss. Okay. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, miss. Silvia Patricia Saituno Méndez. Present, miss. Walter Vladimir Martinez Rosa. 
Omar Seth Galicia López. Ok, en Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Ok, that will be it for today and I will see you guys tomorrow, ok? Bye, have a good day. Bye. 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 Miss, excuse me, you said Angela, yes? Yeah, I mentioned you. Excuse me, and that was, I I was asleep, eating, I'm sorry, eating. You were sleeping or eating? Eating. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was eating, I was eating. <laughs> okay, okay, no, but I heard you, I heard you say present. Okay, okay, okay. thank okay. you. Bye, you. have a good night, see you tomorrow. Da 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 da.